Ethereum? Do you have it in your crypto wallet? And if you do, would you like to earn rewards from it? Well, who wouldn't? <laughs> I know I do, and I'm on the wait list. And I'm gonna share more with you about that in a moment. I'm Joanna Garzilli, this is Crypto Angel Network, and I appreciate you pressing that subscribe button, lighting up that bell so you get my notifications. And please, if you enjoy the content I'm sharing, then hit the like button and also leave me comments as well about, do you have Ethereum? What, how long have you been in the space? What other things do you want me to know that I don't already know <laughs> because I love researching things. I used to work in corporate finance in the city of London many years ago. And back then I had to go to company's house and everything had to be looked up on these microfishes. Now I'm not gonna tell you how old I am, but <laughs> anyway, now it's so easy in terms of, well, I mean, it's not easy, but it's so much easier. You don't have to travel somewhere. You don't have to use all these different things and take it out of a library. We are able to search quickly and efficiently on the internet. And I imagine even more efficiently once Web3 comes fully into effect. So let me share my screen with you as we go and look at this exciting new opportunity that comes from Coinbase. Yes, Coinbase has just announced that you can earn staking rewards with them. And this is on the main Coinbase website uh, because there's the Coinbase Pro as well. So it's very simple to be able to, I mean, sign up there here. We're actually in, in my account. And, uh, and so you can see here, learn how to stake crypto on Coinbase and earn staking rewards with Ethereum. You can make up to 7.5% APR on your crypto. I'm not sure exactly. And I haven't looked deeper into why is it just up to that? What, what or rather I should rephrase that what is going to get you to that maximum earning potential? Well, what we do see here is that you can start with as little as $1 in your crypto wallet, which is fantastic. It's not like with certain banks where for a savings account to make 1% interest or not even that, right? I should say 0.01%, right? With the bank, <laughs> that that you have to have at least $500 to not have to pay for the account or in some cases even more. So this is a, I think in my opinion, it's a really great opportunity. Please also just remember that anything I say here is my personal opinion. That's, this is not investment advice. You must do your own due diligence. But I, I personally, I love this. Look at this, staking crypto is hard to do on your own. That is true. I think it is very hard, right? I mean, that's what developers do where they, because I've looked at staking some other altcoins and that's why right now I am studying blockchain so that I can give myself the option that if I want to learn how to do that, then I could do it. So yes, you could say, oh, well, you could get 12% elsewhere or even more staking, but there are more risks with that. And what I like about with Coinbase is that yes, you are paying you are paying fees, but they are providing a service where you are insured up to $250,000 with your wallet and they have never been hacked. They have never had anyone's, any of their clients' money stolen. So that for me gives a vote of confidence there. And I like the simplicity of just knowing that it's easy. I find that Coinbase is extremely easy to use. And so, you know, if you if you are putting what, what I'm doing uh, for for myself here is that I actually I trade in here. So I use Coinbase Pro for my trading. And uh, let's see here. Um, there's an area where it talks about uh, the, the fees that one has. I wonder if that's just over here under. Oh, I'm in the portfolio. But there's an area here. I'd have to go to the right spot where you can, where you can, um, the fees are, are really quite, you know, they're much, much lower. Let me see if I can find that from here. Oh, it's under orders, that's why. I get, uh, sometimes I have to remember where I am in all the different systems. So look, I just want you to take a look at this because what you could do if you don't already have Ethereum and you're getting it for the first time 
is that uh, you, here you have their exchange fees. Look, up to 10,000, you've got uh, a, the taker and maker fee are the same. So whether you do a market or a limit buy, you're paying the same fee. But once you start getting into a trading volume of between 10 and 50,000, see, this is where you start saying, well, it's the same on the maker and taker fee again. Let me correct myself. On the 50 to 100,000, where you are doing a volume of that amount of trades, that's where on the maker fee, it's it's uh, it's 0.15 of percent. Whereas on the main Coinbase account, it's 1.5 percent and even more if you're using a debit card. So I like the idea of trading in here and because uh, I have, that's the fee I have at the moment, that's because I've, I've done uh, just over 61,000, almost $61,000 volume. These fees are so much lower here. And then what I would do is it's very easy to move from the wallet, uh, from my portfolio here to move that over to the main Coinbase account to be able to stake in here. Because look, I mean, this is just so much more simple, right? This is where you're they make it very, very easy to be able to go and buy and sell, but you are going and getting it then at the market price. And if I just go back a step for you here, let me just click off of that, uh, you will see the site. If you go to blog.coinbase.com, this is where it has the information that to join the waitlist for Ethereum 2.0. So that's where you can you can either do it from the, the Coinbase homepage or you just go here on this article and then start starting today, boom, join the wait list and it'll take you through to the account. If you don't already have a Coinbase account, please do go down into the description below and you will see my affiliate link to get a point Coinbase account. When you put $100 into that account, and then let's say you get Ethereum with that and use it to stake it, we both get $10 worth of Bitcoin rewards, which is awesome because then what I would do is I would go and transfer that over to Coinbase Pro and I would trade it and, and use it to invest into maybe into a, an altcoin as well. That That's something fun, fun to do. I, it's fun for me anyway. <laughs> I don't know for you. And uh, in terms of what Ethereum is doing right now, I just, I, I did this a little bit earlier before hopping on here with you. And you can just see the trajectory of Ethereum. And here we are. I put, I guess I'm, I'm getting a little bit better here uh, because I'd done this arrow before any of this formed. And look at this, it is breaking out again, right? There was this dump we, Ethereum hit, it broke through the $2,000 mark and then it hit here. We've got the resistance and then boom, it came down. I notice Ethereum sometimes just plummets. There's these little moments where it, whoosh, it goes on a big dip and then it starts to come back. And look, you can see there's a pretty good support line there of just, I, I mean, I've got the line at 1900 and something. Really, it's about, let's put it around here from recently. So 1894 is the support maybe worst case scenario, 1881. And uh, so, I, I mean, it's going to keep, I just, in my opinion, it's going to keep going up. When is that good time to buy? If you look at my, let's see, if we go to Ethereum, I just want to show you in my account here. Let's go to Ethereum a sec. And um, one of the things that I was going to say to you is that then when you do that limit buy, right? Instead of the market buy, you do the limit buy. That's where you save a lot on fees. I made the mistake because when you don't know what you don't know, I did a whole load of trades and I, I was paying those higher fees. And, you know, at least something then I just, I, I guess like I'd done a certain amount, I saw the fees and then I went, gosh, I wonder if I can get it for less. And I started researching and then lo and behold saw that what was possible and then I had to get over the hurdle of of doing limit <clears throat> limit trades and learning how to do that 
But for example, just very, very simply, right, the price right now is 1942. And look, we had this dip here down to 1813, but the support line really is around, I mean, it's actually really more like 19. Uh, this is on the 15 minute candles. Let me go back here. So probably what I would do is because Ethereum does suddenly dump for a second and then bounce back. I would look maybe down here around 1804. Maybe I want to come in a little bit higher at let's say 1810. And I've done this before and it works really well for me. And I'd say, okay, I want to go when Ethereum goes to 1810, I'm going to buy, yeah, I don't know, 0 0.005 Ethereum. I don't have the money there in the account right now to do that. Well, do I? Maybe I do. Um, no, I don't. I have to put the money in. That would cost $90. I got excited there for a minute. I'm like, oh, did I have some extra money in my account that fiat that's ready just to trade? Um, but that is how I would then have that buy order so that if in the middle of the night it suddenly dips, absolutely fantastic. I can get that Ethereum. And uh, like I said, that has worked really well for me. And um Let's just pop back over here. I just want to share with you briefly my performance so far on Ethereum. I've bought in at different price points at, at 12.37, at 11.95, way back when I had sold it around 700 and something, when I went in briefly in the end of 2017, early 2018. I Dollar cost averaging, that seems to be something that works really well and, uh, I do, I'll admit, I find it painful sometimes because I just want to have the best price. But buying on the dips, right, that seems to be the key. And then just, I mean, I don't see how Ethereum, I imagine that by the end of this year, I would think it's going to be at around 7,500. So then that'll seem really good. I, um, my average here, right, my average buying price, because I bought at all different price points, levels out to be, $1,404.49 for what I've paid. And you can see here that I, I went in, look, I'll just uh, show you actually, if I can, where's my order? Not open, filled, here we go. Here's my filled orders, bear with me a sec. Yeah, so you can see, look, here, this is based on what I bought here a month ago. I bought at 1237, 1190, 1185, 1115, 1710, 1750, the other four days ago, and then 1909, because I just figured, yeah, it's going to go up and then it's all dips, but I'd just rather just have it because I knew that this opportunity to stake for rewards. So I'm just going to keep adding little bits to it, a little bit more, a little bit more. But look, I mean, within a month, this is a nice return. $773 almost, a, a plus 34.4% return. What, where where can you get that in with a, a, a savings account? I don't know. I don't think it exists. So that's what makes this exciting. And I feel that Ethereum is pretty solid. I mean, it's not like Ethereum's just going to disappear. The whole thing's going to collapse because so many other tokens and other people within the space are building efficiencies that use ethereum right ethereum is that digital oil so it's not like we're just going to stop using it i would be surprised if it goes below 1500 ever again and i imagine that by mid-march Definitely by the end of March, it'll be at least 2,500, maybe even 3,000. And that's what I feel 7,500 is pretty conservative for the end of the year. Because in the summer, it's going to be a frenzy. And then I think things will calm down a bit. And then it'll be a frenzy again around November, December. That's just my personal opinion. So I think that even if one has that, oh, I missed out, I didn't get it. Now is still a good time to get it and and get on that dip and and sign up for the wait list for the Ethereum rewards. So 
please let me know in the comments below do you have ethereum do you love it are you trading it are you hodling it are you already on the wait list are you going to sign up for the wait list are you excited about it also remember to subscribe to crypto angel network light up the bell so that you get my notifications and i really appreciate for you subscribing and being here with me because it inspires me. I am going to be bringing to you soon more and more research on different altcoins. I found some incredible ones lately that I am about to get ready to put more of my savings into because I just feel that they're absolutely phenomenal and they're ones that they haven't broken out yet. For me, when I see someone goes, oh wow, this amazing altcoin and it's just pumped and you, then it ends up, you either have to have more money and just be prepared to hodl I think but for for some of us who are on not as big budgets and just getting into this space and also if you're new to the space it's a good idea just to dip your toe in just start really really small so you can get used to it because if I think of even a couple of months ago I was absolutely terrified I would have heart palpitations and just, I would have anxiety from doing the trading. And now I don't go through that. I go through different type of things. That's another conversation for a whole nother time. But but just starting small and just doing that little by little, really you know, being able to go into an altcoin that then potentially explodes and does brilliantly can give you a nice little return for something to save for something special or just to enjoy whatever that is for you so um thank you for being here with me more coming soon and also let me know if in the comments as well if there's any specific altcoins or other things that you want me to cover and i will make sure to do that in a future episode to do the research and bring that to you i'm joanna garzilli thank you again for being here with me with crypto angel network and i will see you next time.